two different cables that you can use to incorporate your iPod in your car. One plug goes directly into the bottom, the benefit of that one, so you can actually charge up the iPod as you're driving along. Another way is by using the headphone cable. You plug it into the jack that would be installed on the dashboard of the car. And to the headphone jack of the iPod player that you're going to be using. The benefit of this one is you, it doesn't have to be an iPod, it could be any type of MP3 player. This is the RF modulator. This interrupts the antenna coming from the car and pumps the signal of your iPod directly into the back of the radio. One of the benefits of having us do the install is one, we know where all of the proper connections are going to be made at. Two, we have all the tools to remove the radio properly without scarring the dashboard. Three, do you really think you want to do this on your day off? Okay, now after everything's installed, it's that to simply plug in your iPod. Right now you're listening to regular radio. Go to a preset station. Turn the toggle switch on. Now you have the sound from the iPod going directly into the back of the radio through the antenna connection. Unlike the ones that plug into the cigarette lighter, it just transmits and the radio picks it up, where it also picks up static, hissing, and popping. When you come in for your install, after we open up all the packaging, we can go over placement of where we might mount a switch. In this particular location, we have it hidden in the pocket. Some people do like it exposed. The iPod cable can come out between the dashboard and the seats. It can also go into the center console. It can also come out the glove box. Some customers prefer that if there's a pocket that the cable will come through so that they can just leave their iPod in there when they leave the car. Your Collegeville Best Buy. Come see me for your iPod integration solutions.